So the impression here is simply by the constant repetition of the, the accusation from the US that somehow or other Iran is behind all sorts of terrorism in the world. In fact, there's a court case in the US not that long ago that awarded billions of dollars to the victims of the 9-11 terrorist attacks in New York um, against Iran. No one had ever heard of this before, basically. A court sanctioned this myth that Iran was somehow to do with that, which according to the official story in the US was there was a bunch of uh, uh, Saudis and, uh, and some Egyptians basically on these planes, not a single Afghan, let alone Iranian, there. And uh, Al-Qaeda itself is very anti-Shia, anti-Iran group basically, but nevertheless um, this is the, the level of disinformation that is even rubber stamped by the courts there. Now the interesting thing is if we want to look for some independent evidence or what I sometimes call admissions against interest in terms of determining the truth of a, of a controversy, we, look at, we can look at the US, the, the list of Washington, the, the State Department's own terrorist list in which there's 69 designated groups. Uh, if you analyze them, 43 or 62 percent are extremist Sunni, or Salafi or Dayabandi, Dayabandi the extremists in, in South Asia, Salafi from the Gulf, from the Saudis effectively, groups that want to create a caliphate, extremely sectarian groups that have this doctor, uh, Tuckfairy doctrine of killing people from other, from other Islamic sects, almost all sponsored by the US client state, Saudi Arabia and some of the other Gulf regimes basically. So on the US's own estimation there, and these are all anti-Shia, part of their Tuckfairy doctrine, the large part of their Tuckfairy doctrine is aimed at Shia Muslims. Whereas uh, the ones that actually do have support from Iran, are 12 of them or 70% are either Palestinian resistance or other regional resistance groups fighting colonization and Zionism in the region. Hezbollah, of course, in Lebanon, which is the major reason why southern Lebanon hasn't been carved off and formed part of Israel, basically. Um, Hashid al-Shabi, the popular mobilization units in Iraq, which are the heroes of Iraq for getting rid of Daesh, getting rid of ISIS in Iraq, and which are currently under attack by the US uh, occupation forces there. So you see, even on the US's own terms of what terror groups are, it's their allies that are actually funding and arming these groups. And that was admitted, by the way, you may have noticed, some of you may have noticed a few years ago, it was 2014, the, uh, the current presidential candidate, former Vice President Joe Biden, um, uh, admitted that all of their close allies had funded Daesh and Nusra and all of the other Takfiri groups in Syria to try and get rid of the, the government in Damascus. And he was supported in that by the then head of the US Army, General Martin Dempsey. You know, so on their own admissions, uh, all of that terrorism in Iraq and Syria and other parts of the, in Lebanon, other parts of the region were effectively um, funded by their allies. 